minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, invisible power, and lift off. Go Sigmund, go Falcon. Falcon 9 and Cygnus begin their flight, taking aim on the International Space Station. Pitch and roll program Vehicle are in. Falcon 9, parking out to the northeast. I'm looking here in pressure from it. At T plus 40 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40. Power and nominal. This is our 10th mission of the year and second to the International Space Station. And we've throttled down our engines in preparation for Max-Q, which is coming up here in a few seconds. This is the largest structural vehicle load. supersonic. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see on ascent. Max Q. Great news. We've passed through Max Q and are throttling those engines back up. Next up will be five events in rapid succession. That will be main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start or SES-1, the boost back burn startup on the first stage, and fairing separation. Main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, is where all nine M1D engines on the Falcon 9 first stage will shut down. It's all those engines that you see there on your screen. And this will be followed by stage separation, or the separation of the first and second stages. A few seconds later, the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Cygnus to low Earth orbit, which is also known as SES-1. Then Falcon 9's first stage will ignite again to orient itself to head back to land with the boost back burn. Shortly thereafter, the fairing halves will separate and expose the spacecraft to the vacuum of space. Again, those five events coming up in a few seconds. Miko, stage se Stage separation confirmed. And back again. Stage one boost back startup. There we've had Miko stage separation, the MVAC engine on the second stage ignited, as well as the boost back burn starting up on the first stage vehicle, and some awesome view. And excellent news, we were able to see and hear the call out for confirmation of fairing separation. You can actually see one of the fairing halves falling back to earth on your right hand screen. Shut down, and that concludes the boost back burn for the first stage vehicle. You can also see that the grid fins are now deploying on the first stage. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectory. And great call outs that both vehicles are on nominal trajectories to touch down back on Earth. And a really cool view of that first stage vehicle from our ground tracking camera. That looks amazing. <laughs> and that entry burn is coming up here in looking aft at our MVAC engine. Seventeen second burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. And stage an awesome, one FTS has saved. Awesome tracking view of our first stage vehicle. As you can see that the entry burn has concluded. And the first stage vehicle continues to make its way back down to earth. Both vehicles continuing on the nominal trajectory. And this is an incredible view that we are getting of the first stage vehicle heading back to land. Right now it's using its four grid fins to guide- Stage one transonic. To guide the vehicle during its descent. This is amazing. You can see those four grid fins deployed. What a view that Stage we have. Stage one landing burn. <laughs> and you can see that the landing burn has begun for the vehicle. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches back down on land.
SH2 FDS is saved. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. What a sight to see. Falcon has touched down. This booster just completed its 10th flight and the 268th successful landing of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy boosters. That was such, an, such an incredible view to watch. Now, next up is Seco for the second stage. That's where we will shut down this MVAC engine.